All right, so uh, I have installed Gen 2 on my 2014 MacBook Pro. Now, you might remember that from my Void video on MacBook on the 2014. And I was able to get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth working. Now, for this one, I don't really care about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth because... Oh, well, actually, I do care about Wi-Fi. I don't care about Bluetooth. And what has happened, though, is... It's got a proprietary Broadcom chip in it, right? So I used to say, like, you know, the 2014's almost amazing, except it's got the stupid PCIe bullshit with the with the SSD. Gen 2 works fine with that, but the driver for the Broadcom module is not maintained. And what that means is because it doesn't have Broadcom WLDKMS, it's not able to use the generic kernel, you know, because the disk kernel uses like some options that it doesn't like and you have to like basically build your own kernel and it's not worth it for fucking wi-fi so instead what you do is you go online you go into amazon you look up linux usb wi-fi and it'll come up with 100 options you just buy whatever one of those you want i went with the d-link one because even though it's more expensive i i don't know anything about the signal it had higher rating so whatever so that way you don't need a proprietary driver at all. You can just use the normal free driver. <laughs> Hopefully that works. So that comes in tomorrow. I'll let you know how that is if uh, if I get it going. But I may try something with Bluetooth. I haven't installed Blues or Blue Land yet. So uh, we'll figure that out. But that's all I wanted to say for right now. I, just, I have installed Gen 2 on the MacBook and right now just waiting on a Wi-Fi thing. But I ain't gonna fight uh, uh, unmaintained proprietary drivers. That's uh, it's too annoying, <laughs> especially when a kernel's involved. Thanks.